honey, I'm home. Man, what a, what a, what a, what a, man, what a day it's been. I haven't had a day this bad since, since, uh, s since, since Nixon was impeached. Since Nixon was impeached. <laughs> Welcome to the Jack Roll, ladies and gentlemen. Well, welcome to the Jack Roll Show, ladies and gentlemen. What is up, everybody? How's it going? Today is Monday, which means I'm going to talk about motivation. Motivation Monday. You guys know what it is. But before I talk about motivation, I got to go to class and I also got to catch up with Joey because we haven't seen him at all in the past four episodes. Who knows what he's up to? So let's go find out. Oh no. Joey, are you okay? Hi everyone of the Jack Rule Show. Today I'm going to be talking about what it's like being sick in college. Okay, so I currently have a cold. It started last week. It's currently Monday, so it started a week ago. Felt a tickle in my throat. Basically, when you're sick in college, the best thing you can do is get as much rest as possible communicate with your roommate and your sweet mates let them know like hey guys when it comes to like 9 and 10 o'clock gonna need you guys to like quiet down and like let me like get to bed and stuff like that like you guys can still watch your Netflix and all that but don't like have a ton of people over don't be blasting music or anything and like if they're not complete not good people they will probably understand and just let you have your like rest time so that means you have to budget your time find times during the middle of the day when you could get your homework or work done so that way you can still get to sleep at a reasonable hour and get a good night's rest because rest is really what's gonna make you feel better now you need you have to have some necessities first off get your hands on some water bottles drink as much fluids as possible including which something of this nature this is not a paid advertisement airborne emergency Things like that. Find things like this because blasting yourself with vitamin C is gonna make you feel a lot better. Also, now this is my favorite. Invest in some munchies, and by munchies I mean ramen, bro. Cause the thing is, warm, like the warmth of the soup. First off, it's really cheap, really easy to make. It's not exactly good for you, but when you're sick, like the warmth actually helps clear your congestion in your chest and your throat, and like usually helps if you have a bad cough, that makes you feel better. And then also stock up on some cough drops, you know, get some of those. Those are really helpful. It, yeah, that is not a pretty image, but basically do that and just do whatever you can to make sure that your health is in priority. I know that schools can still be stressful, but do whatever you can to get a lot of rest. If you can't get a good night's sleep, find like an hour or two during the day to just take a nap, decompress, try to avoid being around a ton of people, you know, and really just prioritize yourself. Like, I had to go home this weekend. I flew home this weekend while being sick, and that wasn't a good idea. I mean, I already bought the plane tickets. There's nothing I could do, and it was a nice trip home. I'm not regretting it. But if you can, don't get on an airplane while you're sick because it'll help you get over it a lot quicker. That is how to get, how to, how to, how to deal with being sick in college with your boy Joey J. Well, we are definitely wanting Joey to get healthy soon. We're gonna try and do as much as we can, whether that's going to bed early or not getting too crazy at night. You know, we can get crazy sometimes, but we definitely want him to get better fast. So we're praying for you, Joey. Well, I'm heading to class now. Justin's gonna keep watching Stranger Things because he's catching up before the release on Thursday. I am. And Joey's gonna rest up because he needs to. All right, I'm heading to class. I'll Bye. catch you later. Bye, Jumpton. <laughs> but now I'm heading to Grand Challenges class. Fun stuff. Almost there. Hola, Dr. Sunshine. We're just getting your class ready, doctor. I had an apple today. Does that keep you away? <laughs> <laughs> An apple a day keeps the <laughs> doctor. Oh, I get it now. Yeah! Look at Justin. All the boys and the dog. You ready for this class? YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I take that as a yes. I wonder what my viewers think of this class. The time that we had rap music in here and we were just chilling. 
I thought that was funny. I heard some of my favorite, uh, some of my fans' favorite moments is when I say, Jack, how was class? And he just goes, <laughs> <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> yeah. Me, Jack? <laughs> it was a lady. I really enjoyed those too. 6.41, just got done with our project. Why? At least my slides, I'm done. How about you guys? What kind of noise? No. <laughs> what? We'll get there. What's happening? Radhika. What's happening? How do you feel about our presentation? Oh, to come? I think it'll go great as long as we don't have any jokes or puns. Or, or wow. yeah, actually I kind of, I don't hate that. I don't hate the wow idea. <laughs> what I want to try and do is every single time a slide transitions to the next slide, we have Owen Wilson saying, wow, 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 wow. And then it'll, it'll be funny. But now I gotta get back to the dorm. Okay, well I'm back in my dorm. I'm getting ready to go to the future leaders thing tonight, which is at 8 p.m., which is in 20 minutes. But first, we gotta talk about motivation. Also, my face is really red right now because I was just in the shower. So what is motivation? To me, motivation means to breathe life into, which basically means I'm just trying to bring as much energy and as much life to the room or to whatever mo- <laughs> My bad. What the phrase to breathe life into means to me is that every time I get into a project or need motivation, I just breathe life into the situation. So I'll do things such as open up the window and open up the door and just let light in and basically just letting as much energy get filled into the situation as I can. Because energy is so helpful when you're doing things that if I can bring as much energy to the project and as Sorry, much- Sorry, what are you doing right now? <laughs> So to me, every time I try and breathe life into this situation, I just try and get as much energy, and as much life, and just do it. Because when you have a project, you gotta get it done. And the best way to get it done is just to do it. So when I need to hype myself up for a class, or for a project, or for the daily vlog, I just think, what can I do to breathe life into this situation? So open up your doors, let more light in, find music that makes you want to move and get things done, and just be as productive as you can. Because motivation is all about productivity. What are you trying to get out of your motivation? For me, I try and get as productive as I can, so I can be efficient, I can be fast, and I can get things done. And when you do get that motivation, hold on to it as long as you can. For me, that motivation is La La Land, because La La Land energizes me and it breathes life into me because I want to create and I want to inspire and I want to motivate other people the way La La Land motivates me. And recently, Baby Driver did that too, because the music in Baby Driver motivates me to get stuff done, or it motivates me to think about stories I could tell. And it's just, when you find that motivation and you find that inspiration, hold on to it as long as you can, and as much as you can. And that's why I love La La Land and Baby Driver so much, because it breathes life into me. So hopefully you can take away some of what I talked about and find your motivation, and just find those things that inspire you to create or to document or whatever you're trying to do. Anything that brings you energy and breathes life into your situation is your motivation. All right, well now I'm gonna go to the future leaders thing. Justin, what are you doing tonight? I'm finishing Stranger Things. I have two and a half episodes left. Ooh. All right, well, I'll catch up with you in a second. <gasps> it's Justin's first time watching Stranger Things. Is that it? Is that, what? Is that it? There, is that all there is to it? I've never watched it, so I have no opinion I've on never this. seen it. I haven't either. Hi, Hi, Lenny. Lenny. What do you think? That's it? I expected to cry at the, at the end because I was about to. I watched five episodes today. Thoughts on Stranger Things? I liked it. I was about to cry when they started flashing like the scenes oh. of Hopper's daughter dying. Oh. I was about to cry there, but it ended too quickly, so I didn't cry, but I was about to. I was tearing up. Gets me every time. First time I watched it, I shed one single tear. I didn't cry, but I just had like a tear rolling down my eye. Tough stuff, man. Jack, I got it. I had a tear come down my face when I was watching your Canyon Fire video. But then, like, I got sunscreen in my eyes. Like, a lot of tears came out. Well, we have three days until season two comes out, and we're staying up all night to watch it. You stay up all night every night. Not true. Hey, he Lately. <gasps> well, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, got some value out of it, whether it's motivation or inspiration. My goal is just to inspire you and motivate you to chase your dreams and follow your passion. Passion is the greatest thing ever. Passion is what helps me edit until four in the morning or get up at four in the morning to edit. So thank you everybody for watching. And as always, be awesome. Be awesome. Woo! Got him! Where'd he go? Where is he?
Oh no! And then he got me back. <laughs>